Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna tell you cost of living in Prague for a single person and for a couple. If you're a student or single person and you want to live on your own, you will probably go for a studio apartment which are usually around 40 meters square and the prices are around 9,000 crown plus 3,000 crown utilities. Now, the areas are usually not in the center center, so you would probably go for something around which is like Žižkov, Vinohrady, Petřiny, all these places are very good to live in. If you are a couple, you would probably look for a slightly bigger apartment, 2KK is a good option for you, you have two rooms and a kitchen. Now these prices are around 13,000 crown plus utilities, so I would say 15,000, 16,000 crown in total. You should also calculate that you will pay fees. Most probably you will not go through an owner, but you will go through agency, so prepare one extra rent on site and also one extra rent for deposit. So you should save up before you actually go for living in Prague. These flats, they come sometimes furnished, sometimes not furnished, but the good thing is that you don't have to buy your own kitchen and your own bathroom, because that's usually included. It's lunchtime, we're gonna go to lunch to a Crow Bistro, which is just by this church in Jiřího Spoděbrat. So eating up in Prague is quite a thing. We have beautiful restaurants and cafes all around. Approximately for one dish with a drink and a tip, it will be around 500 crown per person. So we recommend you to save up maybe 2,000 crown for the month. Tipping in Prague is normally 10% or more, so it's up to you, but it's not a mandatory thing like in US where they charge you extra immediately. So it's up to you if you want to get it. So the total was 650 crown, which is a pretty good price, but if you want to save money, it's better to cook at home and budget for your food. So now we're gonna tell you the cost of groceries in case you want to cook yourself. There's websites like Rohlik and Koshik which deliver home. Grocery shopping for one person, including toiletries, light breakfast and juice, lunch, coffee and small treat for snack and light cold dinner. Average cost is at 4,000 crown per person per month without budgeting too strict. Obviously cooking at home and taking your food from home is the cheapest option, but if you want to eat out, you can get a lunch menu. My favorite one was in Yugo, where you can get a nice menu for 150 crown. Normally the prices are 150 and sometimes you get even soup and main meal. Although you have to fit in the times between 11 to 2 o'clock usually, that's where is the window for the better prices. For basic toiletries, you can buy them also online or visit a shop like DM, which has both home toiletries and hygiene products for the whole family. Another part of Prague citizen's life is definitely entertainment. Around Prague, even during COVID, you can still do many things. You can see farm markets, you can go to cinemas, gym, of theaters or museums and all of that costs money so we suggest you save at least 2,000 crown per month so you can really enjoy and you don't have to be always close up at home of course that's up to you for us the biggest hobby is coffee and cafes so now we're gonna take you to one of the places we love Right now we are in Vnitro block, which is a cafe goes to Malashevice and Nash got his espresso tonic. Is it espresso tonic? Yes. yes. Espresso tonic. It looks very refreshing. I'm gonna wait for my Emma cafe. As we said, uh, we like to spend time in cafes, so that's one of the hobbies we have. And this is definitely a place to visit for you if you are the same coffee fan. 
The flowers here are just amazing. That's what took my eyes for the first time. So I was really checking all of them. They look so fresh considering there's not much light. So I think you can buy the flowers here as well. There's flower shop, there's food shop, and there is a lot of places for you to sit. So even if you want to study as a student and you want some place where it's peaceful and where you're not so crowded, because this is very spacious, this is a place for you to go. Also, you can buy ice cream there. There's some cakes and it's really industrial look. And I highly recommend you to visit this place if you're in Prague. Average cost of a specialty coffee is 70 crown per person. in Prague is super efficient. There is trains coming usually every 10 minutes so if you don't have a car you don't have to actually buy it if you live in Prague within the public transport. Now you can either buy a monthly ticket for 550 or you can buy a yearly ticket which is much more cheaper and that's 3650 crown for the whole year. clothes you will probably not save money in Czech Republic the prices are average just like in any other country in Europe for example for dress you would pay probably 900 crown t-shirts are around 350 it's very much comparable to other countries in Europe you can shop in shopping malls or there is different streets like this one which leads to Wenzla Square where you have lots of different shops with clothes as well there is seasonal offers usually before summer and then before winter so you can catch that as well but in general you will probably not save as much money so monthly I think for men it's probably gonna be less than for women I think maybe 2,000 crown per month for guys is a good place to start especially if you moved to Prague and you don't have much clothes with you then later on you can reduce of course but it depends on your fashion taste but I think 2,000 is a reasonable price per month for clothes for women it's a bit more expensive, I think it depends on your personality. It can start with the same amount of 2,000 crown up to 5, 6, 10,000 crown. Average is probably 3,000 crown because as women we just don't buy just clothes but on top of that we buy also makeup and we buy some body products and hair products. Moving in means also probably buying a furniture or decorating your house. So make an account on websites like IKEA or H&M Home to see how much it would cost you for furnishing your house. For home electronics, check out Alza CZ or Datart. You will also need to pay monthly fees for things like phone bills, which is approximately 600 crown a month for unlimited data and unlimited calling from Vodafone, home internet from 529 crown, including a Wi-Fi modem rental, some banks may charge you up to 100 crown for their services. Tip from us, Raiffeisen Bank has a free tariff and it's good for English speakers. Health insurance should be covered by employer in case you need to buy it because you're a student or self-employed under 44 years. It's up to 2000 crown with VZP for comprehensive cover and sometimes you may pay on doctor visits or buying medicine. So budget for 2300 crown per person. It's good to have at least 15% of your income going into savings for emergencies and also keep some money on site for donations. So you may be asking, how much is the cost of living in Prague for each month? For one person, you need to earn at least 45,000 Czech crowns gross salary, which will be around 35,000 crown paid in your bank per person, for you to enjoy and live comfortably. For students, some costs will be cheaper like housing and transport. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful to you. If you are moving to Prague, good luck with everything. I'm sure it's gonna be great for you. And if you like this type of content, we are moving maybe to Brno, check out our own videos because we've done similar thing with Brno. You can leave a comment and subscribe to us if you want to see more videos like this. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!